Hey guys, welcome back. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know that I got a Stitch Fix box very recently and that it is one of the smallest boxes that I have ever gotten or seen. I didn't even know they made boxes this size. I thought they were all square. So I'm a little apprehensive. I don't really know what is in here. I was gonna wait to film this video until I was a little less sinusy. So if you hear that in my voice, I would apologize, but that's just life, it happens. And I was gonna wait because I didn't think I was gonna be able to film for two more days. I thought about opening it and then just coming on here and showing you what I got, but some of you really wanted to see my reaction when I opened this box. So here we are, it is not even cracked open. I have my box cutter. I'm gonna cut this open off screen because I think it makes a lot of noise when I do that on screen and I'm just gonna go for it. So here we go. Before I dig into this box, for those of you who do not know what Stitch Fix is, it is a subscription service with clothes, shoes, accessories, jewelry that you can have sent monthly or schedule it whenever you want. They usually send five items for a $20 styling fee that is applied to whatever you keep. If you do choose to keep all five items, you get 25% off of your entire fix and you can adjust your style profile at any time. It's very customizable. My other videos that I've already done will go into a little bit more detail, but I'm just gonna jump right into this because I'm not really feeling really well and I kinda need to get somewhere, but I really could not wait to get into this box. So let's see what's in here. I really am wondering, is it just accessories and a clutch and a top? I, I don't know, I, this is just kinda weird to me. Okay, so I have opened this and here is the inside with the envelope with the card and letter and then the return envelope in it and i usually don't read the note from the stylist until i take everything out just because i like to see what's in here first so it looks like there's two bundles and one looks like it might be accessory so i'm just going to get that one out first and it is it looks like a necklace so let's look at this it's called the Romolo Montana Metal Starburst Necklace in Silver. So this is what that looks like. It looks like a short statement necklace. Pretty cute. This is the first accessory that I have gotten from them actually. And now for the very small bundle. It looks like it might be all tops. I'm not sure. The first item is a Bella Doll Elena button down top in gray size medium. And this is a very silky fabric, kind of sheer, just a button up snake print top. So I will try that. And the next item is actually a dress, DM Collection Marnie Jersey Faux Wrap Dress, black size four. And this is, uh, I think I pulled it out upside down. Okay, this is this print right here. It looks like it is a wrap style dress, long sleeved. So that could be really cute for work. I always love a good wrap dress for work. And this next item is another top 41 Hawthorne Thunderbird lattice detail blouse, mustard size M. I'm a little apprehensive about mustard, but I will try it. It is a true mustard and it is a sleeveless top with a straight across hem. Looks kind of long. I have to see that on. I do like the detail at the top, but I think I would like this in a different color. I'll see. I just tend to think this color does me no favors. Next item is another 41 Hawthorne item, Tamaron, Tamarin button down blouse in white size medium. And so very similar in style to the first snake skin top. It looks long sleeve, but it's not a tapered sleeve. Oh, it looks like it rolls up to a short sleeve. If you see the button here and it looks like there's a tab inside, cute buttons for some contrast. So that's a little bit different than your basic button up top. And I actually did specify that I wanted a longer button down white top. So 
It seems like they listened to me on that. Okay, so let's read the note now. It says, hi, Stephanie, happy fix day. I had fun styling you today. I hope you love everything in your fix. I chose the DM collection dress. It reminded me of some of the dresses you penned. Dresses are an effortless way to make a statement and I thought this one would look great on you. Wear it with the Romolo necklace and a pretty pair of pumps for an effortlessly chic look. I also thought you would love the Bella doll blouse. It has a fun, edgy vibe. Wear it with the black Liverpool Mira jeans from your previous fix for another great look. Have fun trying everything on. I can't wait to hear your feedback. Best wishes, Sarah. And then if you open up your note card, it actually has some ways to style things too. I'm just gonna jump ahead and look at pricing now because I just want to. The Starburst necklace is $34. The 41 Hawthorne, the yellow mustard blouse is $64. Ooh. The Elena button down top, is 134 that's that snake skin top the tamarin button down blouse the white top is 58 dollars and the wrap dress is 108 dollars the subtotal is 398 dollars if i bought all five that would take off 99.50 with the purchase credit the styling fee credit also taken off that would be minus 20 dollars for a total of 278.50 if i bought everything in the fix so, okay, so let's try some things on. Here's the white blouse. I am not sure if they put this in my fix because I asked for a classic button down blouse with a curved hem that I could wear with anything that would be versatile. But if that's why they put this in this fix, this does not fit the bill. You can only wear these sleeves rolled up. If you wear them down, this happens. It turns into frump city. So you can't button them and wear them down and have it be cute because you can totally see through this fabric. So that's the other thing. You can totally see through this fabric. So if I wear a camisole, you can see where it cuts off. You can see it here which means I do have to wear a camisole with it, which I don't mind. I mean, a lot of white shirts you have to wear a camisole, but it's just not the white, cute, classic button down that I was looking for. I don't know if you can tell this fabric. It just looks like a fabric on a shirt that I could get at TJ Maxx or Steinmart or wherever and not pay $58 for. I'm, I'm not impressed with this shirt. And now we have the snake print top. Uh, again, I'm not impressed. Uh, I'm frustrated. I'm really frustrated. Um, this is okay. It doesn't feel... How much was this? I don't know. It doesn't feel that price to me. And it's big. Like, I would have to roll it up. And these sleeves, the way they're done, does not lend to rolling it up. Um, yeah, this... I have another really, really cool snake print sheer tunic top that I wear it with leather leggings and it looks super cool. I don't get that same vibe from this top. This is okay, but I don't love it. I feel like I'm being so negative and I hate that, you guys. I just wanted to love this fix because I really did change my style profile and all of that and I just feel like this is not me at all. Look at this. Ooh, look, it's like it's thumb holes, but it's not. It's the buttonholes. Now for the mustard, it is a tunic, which I really was not expecting. Um, it's fine, it is a little boxy. It's okay, again, I feel like it's okay. Um, but I don't hate it, I kinda like the detail up here. Again, I wish it was in a different color. I'm just not sure if I would actually wear this and I just don't think this color does a lot for me. I kinda think it washes me out. So that's pretty much everything, let's chat. Well, I think it's pretty evident that I just don't love anything in this fix. I really just don't. I am striking out lately. I was contacted by another company to see if I would try out their service, and I am going to. If I like it, I'll tell you guys about it. Um, only if I really like it. It's a new company. So I'm going to look at that. I have seen some people get some really, really cool, edgy stuff in their fixes. I changed my profile, I changed my notes, I changed my Pinterest board to reflect what I wanted, and I just 
feel I didn't get what I wanted and I feel like though this was different than what I had been getting, kind of, it's not different enough. I really hate this color on me. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just felt like some of it was frumpy. Some of it was a little bit matronly. The dress was okay. But I mean, in looking at the prices, where's my pricing sheet? Would I walk into a store and pay $108 for a dress that I'm just okay with? No or even $88. No. You know, the one thing that I may keep is the Starburst necklace simply because I'm gonna pay the styling fee anyway. So that's $20 that I'm out and it's $34. So essentially it'll be 14 and it's a pretty sturdy necklace. I actually didn't even put it on. So there's that. And I feel like it could look good with just a basic top or something dressy. And it's kind of reflecting a lot right there. but. You know, that could be cute. I have it kind of on the medium length, but it can go like that and it can go a little bit longer. And it's kind of a cool statement piece without being really gaudy and beaded and all that. It's just kind of different. So I will probably keep this from this fix, which is kind of underwhelming. My initial reaction is that I'm a little underwhelmed with this fix. I wish the concept that I was trying to get across to the stylist and to Stitch Fix came across a little better. I don't think I'm being overly negative here. I mean, what you want is what you want. And I feel like my Pinterest Stitch Fix board reflects what I want. And I really just don't feel like I have gotten what I portrayed there and in my notes and in my style profile. In my description box, my Pinterest board name is there. If you want to go check it out, let me know what you think. But I just don't feel like I got it today. So that is stitch fix number 14 total for me. And we're just going to have to see how this plays out. <sighs> Maybe I'll try trunk club. Anyway, thank you guys for your patience and for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. My social media is on the screen and in the description box. If you're not following me, I'd love it if you did so. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.